Hi everybody, um, on the new laptop again, or on the new computer, I have the, my good microphone that's basically made my old camera into a glorified tripod, uh, hooked up to it, so hopefully we have better audio this video. Um, anyway, I just wanted to give a quick update. The Joker Vlogs just updated their answers to the Q&A. Uh, they, they posted a video announcing they were going to do a QA and a a couple weeks ago, or maybe about a month ago now and they just uploaded their answers to it and really great you know thank ev thank you everyone for asking the questions you did um we got some great answers on this and the one i was most interested in was answered and that is that the f series is still going to be in continuity with the dark knight rises and with the dark knight and the dark knight rises that makes me very happy the explanation Andrew DeVere gave in the video was that the last official sighting of the Batman was not the last time the Batman was ever out. And that actually makes a lot of sense. It does work with the character arc of Bruce Wayne in those films. It, it does make sense for him to have stopped some time after the events in The Dark Knight um, happened. It, it does work, and I'm sure they're going to go into it more, but just the very brief, very general explanation he gave w did work really well. Um, this is purely me speculating. What I think might happen is that they're going to um, they're going to introduce the fact that the pain in his leg is partly physical but is more psychosomatic. I really hope that's the case, because um, that was one of the big things implied by his character arc in that film, and it's something that's harped on a lot factually. So it would be great to see the physical toll that the you know the pain of not getting to be Batman or not getting to be a hero anymore caused Bruce Wayne. Um, it's not the most artic articulate way to put it, but to be fair, I didn't write this down. Anyway. So I'm I'm really excited about this. I I cannot wait for series two. They're going to wrap up further evidence, and then they said sometime in April they'll start posting the series two videos. So just fantastic news, everybody. Uh, if you haven't seen the full Q and A, go watch it now. I just wanted to give my brief thoughts on a couple of the things they brought up. 